Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Kenworth, Illinois, with a new frauditor called Public Press. Yeah, one of those kinds of guys. And he attempts to audit the local post office, but he ends up getting trespassed and threatened with arrest should he not leave. Well, he eventually leaves under threat of arrest, but what else is new with these frauditors? I mean, but this auditor also has a special editing style that uh, will quickly annoy you once you watch his full videos. I mean, he tends to jump around quite a bit. I mean, what you're seeing on the screen right now is, well, pretty much his example of his work just jump 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 cut jump cut after jump cut so it, it gets real annoying so let's just go ahead and sit back relax and uh, i'll try to fix all these jump cuts as much as i can to make it a more interesting video are you taking pictures sir yeah just doing a video sir i'm sorry can you stop videotaping to protect the privacy of my customers why? Because this is a private transaction, sir. Oh, I'm not over there. I, I can't even see it. I, but the videotaping in the lobby is interfering with his privacy. No, no, I'm right be behind can him. Can you please step out of the retail lobby so I can conduct this transaction in private, sir? Sure. Hold on. What are you doing? What's that? What are you doing? Whoa, that's what I'd like to know because you jumped in from that uh, point just a moment ago where you were having that confrontation with the postal worker. And all of a sudden, the cop was here, so talk about shoddy editing skills. So allow me to give you a little advice uh, if you continue to make videos. At least warn your audience that you are about to make a jump from one time frame to the next. That way it won't be so jarring. So let me give you an example of how this would work using your own video as an example. Sure, hold on. You know, I was having trouble convincing this postal worker that it was my absolute right to film inside of this lobby, but she was so uh, disconcerted with me filming in here that she decided to call the police, and I, well, decided to walk out on my own accord, and 30 minutes later, the cops showed up. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage and see what happens from there. Many, many minutes later. What are you doing? But nope, that's not how you did it, and it's a real jarring mess at this point, so you need to improve your skills. Am I being detained? Nope. Just ask what you're saying. Are you doing this for a project? I'm sorry, I don't answer questions. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this isn't the only instance of him using a, a laugh track like this sign. Uh, it's, he's going to triple down on it here in a few moments. Not just double down, but triple down. And, uh, well, this is rare whenever I see anybody use an actual laugh track on something outside of an actual sitcom where it's more appropriate. <laughs> Let's just get through this video as quickly as we can because, well, I can only handle so much bad editing and this is really starting to annoy me. I can't imagine how much it's going to annoy everybody else who watches this video. Five minutes later. Sir, someone forgot their keys right there. So that's the uh, Kenilworth police. They're asking you to leave. They don't want you here anymore. Oh. So, it says I can record here. What's that? It says I can record here and 
Okay, it, it, it doesn't. Yeah, it does not say it, dumbass. It says you need permission from the local postmaster or installation head. And, uh, well, you don't have permission to be doing that here. In fact, you were asked to leave several times, and you are going to be arguing about trespassing here in a few moments. And you have that same mindset that a lot of other frauditors have, that you can't be trespassed from anywhere, which, according to the law, is totally incorrect. So why don't you go get yourself educated and actually read the laws and everything else that you have failed to read properly. It's not that you're recording so they don't feel safe and comfortable anymore, so they want you to leave. Oh, are you the comfort police? <laughs> no. Okay. They're asking you to leave. If you don't leave, they're not to uh, charge you with trespassing. Oh, this is uh, public or private? She has the right authority to, to tell you that you're not wanted here. Okay, but well, I'm, I'm going to leave under the threat of arrest. Okay. I just wanted to tell her that someone left okay. their keys. Okay, appreciate your assistance. Thank All you. Right. Yes, let's go jump to the end where you try to have him arrest her over this. Um, oh, there he is. Name and badge number, sir? 605. Name? McGarry. Okay, Nevada. can I do a citizen's arrest for breaching the peace? No. For calling the police on me? No, no. For, uh, she has a right to call the police. For have the nice First day. Amendment protected activity inside? Why did you violate my right? Why'd you tell me to get out of the post office for something that's protected? She didn't feel safe. So she you're fall, comfort police now? No, I'm not the comfort police. Okay. Did you comfort her? Yes, I did. Okay, so can I go back in there? Yeah, sure. I could go back in there. But sure. you're not, are you going to arrest me? No. Good. So um, why did you violate my rights in the first place? She felt threatened in that moment, so I asked you to step outside. Okay, well, can I have a uh, citizen's arrest for breach and no. peace? No, you can't. Why not? Because she felt threatened. That's why I asked you. I didn't threaten you. anybody. That's how Everything's she felt. On video. I, had to, I had to talk to her and find out what's going on. I told her that someone left their keys, and she felt threatened. Probably because you're videotaping her. She felt that that was unusual. But they're videotaping too. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. I, I don't think they are. You're videotaping, not. right? No. You don't have a body cam? Nope. That's odd. All right, so you violated right. my rights because of her comfort. Okay, have a good day. All right, well, I'm going to put in a complaint about you. That you didn't do a citizen's arrest for breach and peace. Okay. Oh my goodness, dude. You are so incredibly stupid. If everybody who called 911 over something like this were to get arrested, then, well, most everybody would be in jail. And guess what? He actually does go to the police station to get a complaint form. So let's watch that before we close this out, shall we? Yeah, I want to do a complaint about a police officer. Oh, you guys have it ready for me, huh? Is it me, or has the past few iterations of frauditors gotten progressively more and more dumb? Because this guy, well, uh, he wants uh, the cop officer to arrest the postal worker for them calling the police on him. I mean, that is incredibly stupid right there. And, well, well, that's just par for the course these days for a lot of these frauditors. I mean, you just don't have the same intelligence like you do for uh, Long Island Audit or any others anymore. I mean, it's just, the quality has con consistently gone downhill. And I hate to see what the next few months will bring when it comes to their intelligence. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?